I've got for you today my favorite day of the month, Pro Wrestling Crate. I'll talk into the microphone so you can actually hear me. Uh, I don't remember anything about what's supposed to be in this crate. I actually avoided spoilers this month. Uh, much, um, I was going to say much of the chagrin, but that's not the right terminology. Um, very much in spite of the daily emails and now text messages that I get from Pro Wrestling Tees. Uh, they're really spamming their ads, to be honest. I'm a little kind of over it. But uh, yeah, I actually have no idea what's in this box. I don't remember at all. So um, let's see. That's the card. We'll save, put that up to the side. We'll talk about next month and we'll talk about the cheat sheet um, in a minute. So uh, yeah, let's just dig in. I don't, I really don't remember. I do see something weird on top. Oh, okay. Sorry, this, at first I'm like, this is really weird, but I also kind of like it. Okay, this is a new item. Brawler balls, and it's just a stress ball, but it's, uh, it's Roddy Piper, they live, got the sunglasses falling off, and kind of a zombified. I mean, it's it's the they live aliens, but it's more of a zombie style uh, workup, I guess. And it says submit on the side, and I don't know what this is. Um, I I mean it's different. Yeah, it's different. You know, it's just a stress ball. Uh, you know, yeah. It's a different throwing item. I love Hot Rod. I love They Live. I don't love this thing, to be honest. It's kind of weird, but uh, who knows? Maybe maybe I can sell it and get a couple bucks back. All right. That was on top, so I had to, I had to pull it out. First t-shirt. Let's see what we got. Okay. I like the Mega Man art. Let's see. I see... Oh, it's Kenny Omega. The Cleaner Omega... Seven stars in the Superdome. That's a cool shirt. Yeah, that's a cool shirt. I dig it. I'm, I, I've said this before. I'm not a huge Kenny Omega fan, but um, I'm not a huge Mega Man fan either, actually. But uh, it's a cool shirt, cool design. I dig it. I like it. I'll wear it. We got a sticker, a little Micro Brawlers vinyl sticker. That's cool. Keep that. Uh, we got our pin. Oh, is this two separate pins? Okay, this is cool. This is the coolest pin they've ever done. It's RVD doing the Van Daminator on... I mean, you can't tell, but it kind of looks like Austin. Can you even see that with the glare? Yeah, there you go. It's really They're two small pins, but it's actually really cool. I'm not going to keep it, but that's a cool pin. That's, that's a lot different than anything they've done in the past. That should be very uh, popular, that one. All right, next T-shirt. What we got? What does it say? Oh, it does say Good Brothers. Carl's and, An Car Carl's and Anderson. <laughs> Gals and Anderson. Uh, that's a cool shirt. Kind of comic book style. I feel like we've got... I feel like between Omega and... Um, the Good Brothers, we've gotten a lot of shirts out of this crate uh, over the last uh, year and a half. But yeah, that's cool. You know, it's a different design. I like, I don't love it, but you know, whatever. And we have our micro brawler, which unfortunately has been bent. The uh, the new on card design i wasn't sure if they were going to do these on card uh additions for the um for the crate but it looks like they are and there's a little cutout collector card in the back this one's really cool this is a big one jake roberts it's like it like you can tell it like weighs more than they usually do it's got the snake and everything um pretty cool yeah kind of like that one Good stuff. We got another comic book. This one is uh, is uh, Thunder Rosa. I've not gotten around to reading these yet, but I have kept them all. I like I like the idea of doing a little comic book version of some road story. Wait, who is this? 
Dolly Dakota. <laughs> okay. Huh. Anyway, there's that. And finally, this is a pretty quick box, actually. Pretty quick box. We got our autographs. We're still getting two autographs, I think. Let's see who we got here. Oh, no, only one. And it's IRS. That's cool. He literally signed it IRS. <laughs> he didn't even sign it Mike Rotunda. He signed it IRS. Not Erwin R. Scheister. That's, that is tremendous. <laughs> oh, that is some old school carny shit right there. <laughs> I dig it. Um, all right. So that was the crate. I don't, I guess I remember the, that it said there was a Roddy Piper item and I guess it was that, right? I don't know. I feel like we're like missing something, but I guess not. Uh, let's see. Omega t-shirt, Good Brothers t-shirt, Jake the Snake micro brawler, 250 chase variants included. Would it say chase on here? I don't know how you would tell. It doesn't show what the chase is. Uh, Rob Van Dam has a hundred chase variants included. Again, I don't know how you would tell. Doesn't say anything on there. Uh, Thunder Rosa comic, IRS autograph, Roddy Piper, Brawler Bra Brawler Ball, spit it out, and the um, Micro Brawlers sticker. Let's see. Oh no, you, you okay? That's all still on the regular crate. Uh, let's see. Next month, Owen Hart, Okada, Rhodes, Teddy Long. Interesting. Macho Man, Warhorse, Bully Ray, and a special item featuring 12 deathmatch wrestlers. I don't know about that one. Okay, not into deathmatch. Um, that's it. That's the crate. Uh, not, not mind-blowing, I would say. Actually, I'm going to leave this out because I've got a box of these going. Uh, yeah, not mind-blowing, um, you know, t-shirts I'm never mad about under any circumstances. Um, no DVD. This, um, this Brawler Brawl is cool, but it's, it's kind of dumb. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, it's a cool idea, it's a good design, but at the end of the day, it's just a stress ball. I mean, these aren't even a thing anymore, you know? Um, the pin is really cool, but I don't collect pins. You know, um, yeah, I mean, the, the, the thing about this box is always is the values in the t-shirts, right? You get two t-shirts, your, everything else is basically a bonus. Um, I always sell my micro brawlers almost every month. They sell right away. I think I have three. I've got honky tonk man, Jeff Cobb and, um, somebody else. Oh, Chris hero never sold. Um, but other than that, they all sell really quick and they sell for decent money. And, um, you know, same with the pins. I usually get at least half my money back, if not more between the micro brawler and the pin. Although I will say with this new card format, these are going to be more expensive to ship now. Um, so from the looks of things, I slammed this, uh, autograph down and it stopped recording. <laughs> Um, but what I was, I just did it again. Look at that. I must just be what I do. Okay. Uh, what I was saying is that I usually, uh, can get the, the old micro brawler format with the pin I'd put in a little padded envelope and the whole thing would ship, uh, under four ounces. So it was like $3 to ship and I would do free shipping. Now this is going to have to go in a box and it's going to be more like four or $5 to ship. So that kind of sucks. Uh, I also don't have boxes that are this small. So I'm either going to have to, um, Garage flips, uh, garage flips, uh, box resize, uh, an 864 box, or I'm going to have to get a different box or it also sucks. Cause I just bought a ton of the envelopes for those, for the old ones. <laughs> uh yeah so i'll have to do something uh but anyway uh winner for me out of this box is the kenny omega shirt again even though i'm not a kenny omega fan nor am i that much of a mega man fan uh, this shirt is objectively a cool design um and I, I just like all the little references you know the cleaner bullet club seven star match in the tokyo dome omega 
I think one winged angel. I think that's his finishing move. I think. Um, I don't know the reference for milkman and golden man, but I'm sure there's something there. I don't know. Uh, you know, obviously he's a fighter, and I don't know if machine has a special reference. It's cool. Uh, cool little Terminator looking uh, design though. So really cool design. I mean, it's a fun shirt. It's objectively cool. So that's the winner for me. Uh, I would say the micro brawler, the the um, Jake the Snake micro brawler is really really cool. Uh, but I just I just don't keep them. I don't know. I might keep this one. It is really cool. Eh, well, we'll see. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's it uh, for this one. Uh, oh, that's right. I, I went over the. Um, Spoiler card, but it got cut off. Uh, yeah, basically all the stuff was in here. There's apparently a 250 count chase variant of Jake Roberts and a 100 count chase variant for the um, uh, RVD pin. Neither of them say chase. I don't. I'm assuming they would if I got one, so I'm, I'm guessing I didn't. Uh, I I really want to love this uh, this They Live stress ball because I love that movie. It's one of my favorites. Huge Roddy Piper fan, um, but at the end, it's just it's a stress ball. Like who, who? Nobody uses a stress ball anymore, you know. Um, so I don't know. And it's also a little. It's not even really they live. It's like a weird zombie kind of ish thing. Like it's it's Piper if he was a zombie alien. <laughs> so I don't know. It doesn't it doesn't quite work for me, but. Um, but I do, I mean, I respect them for trying something new. Um, next month, uh, let's see, Owen Hart, Okada, Cody Rhodes, Teddy Long. That should be interesting. It's probably going to be a comic book. Uh, Macho Man, War Horse, Bully Ray, and a special item featuring 12 deathmatch wrestlers. Um, yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not a proponent of deathmatch wrestling, so I don't know about that one. Maybe it's a, I don't know. We'll see. I'll forget by the time the box gets here. So that's it for this one, guys. Appreciate you. Like, subscribe, share. Let me know what you think down in the comments. And I'll see you next time.